Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. This week I want to sort of, it's kind of moving on from last week. So last week we spoke about looking at the reality of a situation um, and sometimes getting caught up in the story. This week I want to dive into the story we tell ourselves about other people. And it's something that I noticed recently when I was driving. In fact, I've actually noticed it for a while, but it kind of came to me and I thought I could tell you about it because it might be interesting to you too. So as I'm driving along, um, I notice various people on the road. And sometimes I end up telling myself a story about somebody who I've never met, very likely ever to meet, but I still have this story going on in my head. And just in case you haven't seen or heard last week's episode, um, the reality is the facts of a situation. The story is what we tell ourselves about the facts of the situation, um, how we make them, make, um, how we interpret them to make sense to us. And that story is very rarely ever the truth, and it's very rarely ever factual. So in this scenario with the drivers on the road, what happened was um, the, the junction out onto the main road from the village I live in. It's quite a fast road that you turn out onto. And in the summer when the grass is really long, you can't always see very clearly the cars that are coming. And so I looked and it all looked clear and I pulled out and all of a sudden there was a car and it wasn't, and it wasn't close or anything like that, but I could see that they were traveling quite fast. And in my mind, I imagined that they were getting frustrated and irritated because I'd pulled out and I wasn't going fast enough just yet. And I share this because I've no idea what they actually were thinking. I've no idea if they thought that I was going slowly or if they were irritated because I'd pulled out or what they were thinking, if they were in a hurry for work or if they were just enjoying a nice scenic drive. But it's interesting how our mind starts making up a story about that person. I also know in Bath, where close to where I live, they have a 20 mile, or quite often they have 20, 20 mile an hour zones in the built up areas, which is quite slow really. And a lot of people get quite frustrated driving at that speed. But I tend to be a little bit of a rule follower in regards to traffic speeds. So when it says 20, I go 20. And quite often when I'm going 20 and somebody's behind me, I imagine that they're getting very irritated by the speed that I'm going. Um, and yet I have no idea. And when I feel that they're getting irritated, it makes me feel slightly unsettled. Um, it can make me feel like I should be going faster. And my mind starts this whole conversation in my head about what I should be doing in response to what I perceive the person behind me to be thinking about me when I know nothing about it at all. Now I'm sharing this because maybe you have experienced the same thing when you're driving, or if you haven't, or haven't noticed, maybe you will start to notice now. Because now when I notice myself doing it, I remind myself that I have no clue what the person is actually thinking in the car behind me. Well, most of the time anyway. But this also applies to every other encounter you have with a person. And the story that we fill in around what we're perceiving around us is to do with our own past and our own experiences. So for instance, um, if I'm just going to carry on with the driving thing, I knew someone, and this wasn't actually me, <laughs> not this time anyway, and while they were driving around, they would say thank you to people and whatever else. But if the person didn't respond and say thank you back, they would think that that person was cutting them, that was being rude to them on purpose and was being disrespectful. Now, I don't tend to think like that just because my past is different to the person that I'm talking about. How I perceive it is that the person, if they don't acknowledge it, is most likely really busy or is daydreaming and thinking about something else or has something going on in their life that I know nothing about. Um, so it doesn't really tend to bother me. And I'm sharing this because you can see that two different people who have different experiences experience the world differently and their stories around the world and the facts that are going on are very different based on their past experiences. And we bring this into our personal relationships. We bring this into our romantic relationships, our work relationships. So we might perceive that somebody has disrespected us, dissed us, doesn't like us, is offish, um, whatever it might be. 
But unless we actually ask that person, we have no idea whatsoever what they really truly think. They might just be shy. They might just be um, uncomfortable saying hello because they've perceived that we've done something that they've created a story around. So you can never assume that someone thinks or is experiencing something unless you've spoken to them and asked them about it. And that's why communication is so incredibly important. In fact, I was chatting with a friend of mine recently and they, we've got mutual friends in common. And they've created a whole story around these mutual friends, that these mutual friends um, are not very supportive, that they found something that this friend of mine has gone through uncomfortable and didn't really want to associate with them and that they've pulled away. And they've created this whole drama around something that might never have actually happened because we haven't we don't know what these other friends of our mutual friends were going through at the time. Maybe something happened with them. Maybe they had a situation, a family situation, which took their attention away from what was going on with my friend. And without really knowing the truth of it, without speaking to them, we have no idea why they've pulled away or what's been going on for them. And this happens so often in friendships and in romantic relationships and in work relationships, where someone might behave differently and we suddenly take it to mean something. We might think they don't like us. We might think that they that we've upset them in some way. We make it about us and our story when it might have nothing to do with our story at all. It might be that one of their parents is ill. It might be that they've suddenly got a lot of work on and they're feeling really overwhelmed. Maybe they've got financial issues. Maybe whatever, who knows? Their change in behavior might have nothing to do with us at all. But because of the way we live our lives through our own experience, quite often when somebody changes their behaviour, we perceive it to be about us. And we create our own story based on our past and our past experiences around what we believe has caused them to behave the way they're behaving. And then in response to that, we change our behaviour. We might become offish, maybe we'll become angry, maybe we're suspicious, maybe we decide that stuff them, I'm just going to enjoy my life even more. There are so many different reactions to something that we don't even know the truth about. And this is why I'll bring it back to communication. If you're not certain and you do not know the reality, and the reality is the facts, not the story you've created around the facts, then ask somebody, find out for them, ask them, say, I've noticed that you seem a little quiet, a little distant. Is everything okay with you? Has something happened in your world? Because that creates connection. It creates understanding. And it creates support and empathy with somebody and something they might be going through that might have nothing to do with you at all. And if it does have something to do with you, then you can ask them about it and you can work through it and you can overcome it and create a much stronger, much more positive relationship. I hope you found this interesting. I, I love things like this. I find it endlessly fascinating how we are in our worlds. Um, I'm also doing a monthly Ho'oponopono, which is a, a way of clearing emotional and psychological blocks from your energy field. And I'll put a link to that in the show notes below. And each month we're going to be looking at a certain topic um, and clearing around that so that you can hopefully move forward in your life without it. Um, also, I will put links to how you can reach me if you're interested in coaching with me or if you are interested in any of my online courses. All of that will be in the show notes below. Have a fabulous week. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.